Welcome back. I'm meteorologist Diamond Dixon. Taking a lot. Look outside. Sand Dollar City over in Port Aransas. We've got some cars there arriving. Maybe they're out to enjoy that beach scene there. I wish I could join them. Once again, it's good to take a little dip out if you can in some water because we're still under a heat advisory until 7 tonight. And that's along our coastal communities though, where that temperatures feel like 110 to 114 degrees for two or more hours. And so probably not tomorrow. We won't maybe see a heat advisory. It hasn't been announced just yet, but I wouldn't be surprised just because of how this week is really heating up already. It's going to be still the hottest stretch until August 15th, so just be aware of that. Stay cool, hydrated, and wear that sunscreen. Take multiple breaks as needed. As far as temperature and feel likes currently, we're at 93 in Rockport, 91 in Port Aransas, and 96 in Ingleside, 92 in Corpus Christi, as well as Naval Air Station, and 93 in Robstown and Mathis. But when we take a look at the feel like, you can see now 109, 111, 106, 109 there in Alice and Kingsville. So we're now starting to kind of be on the decline for those feel likes. Once again, that heat advisory does expire at 7 tonight. All right, hour by hour, we're out of that 90 degree threshold by 8 p.m. at 87 degrees. That southeast wind coming in in the teens still by 8 o'clock. And then they slowly taper off. We'll be into the low 80s by 1 a.m., making our way into tomorrow morning when you're waking up. Maybe 5 to 7 will be just around 80 degrees with very light winds coming out of the south. But that southeast wind is what's bringing us a lot of moisture, as you can see Tuesday and Wednesday. We get a lot more of that, and then Thursday we get less, and Friday less as well. So where they're under the teens in forest values. So as far as what we're talking about is muggy meter, we're going to be hot and humid, and we're going to be in the oppressive range through the weekend there with those high dew points. Once again, when you have above normal temperatures and you start to see a lot of humidity and that moisture in the air, that's how we get those really high heat index values that we're seeing. As far as rain, I wish I could tell you we had so much in the forecast, but we don't. If anything, we would see very light stray showers there maybe tomorrow afternoon that's between Corpus Christi Alice and Beeville once again that high pressure that we're dealing with also limits our rainfall I'll tell you about it coming up here in a second but Tuesday here was our best day to see some rain and that was already some unlikely strays to begin with that was also being helped and pushed by some sea breeze action now, that upper level energy that you could see, high pressure building over good old Texas here, southeast Texas, that's going to promote a lot of sunshine, drier air that's sinking and limiting that rainfall. So it will be more of a hot, dry week versus anything. All right here, well, your seven day, what you're probably looking forward to the most so you can help plan for the rest of your week. Well, once again, we'll be into the upper 90s for most of our week here, as you can see. And then as we move into early next week, we see 98 and 99, so almost near 100 by early next week. Still a little far out, but the good news is that once again, we mentioned in the newscast that some of those splash pads are still open until September. So I would take advantage of those because you're going to need it with those feel like temperatures feeling in the triple digits all week. Once again, I hope you have a great rest of your Tuesday.